Welcome back to this Test Modeler 101 series. We're going to look at browsing test cases and exporting them out of Test Modeler. So I find myself in Test Modeler. Uh, I'm going to, under again, I'm going to stay inside the examples. I'm going to come to Explorer and I'm going to have a look under Fun with Coverage and I have here some customer details. We're going to generate some tests, um, which is very easy to do. So we click on our little run icon and then what that gives us here are a series of tests that we can actually explore a little bit. So um, if I click on the uh, little cog, I can have a look at some steps. So I can see here that this particular path is going through uh, our uh, customer name, which I'll correct as that's wrong. So that's a nice little cog for me there. Um, and I will see that we go through address line one, our country and our state. There are currently no descriptions or expected results. Uh, if we go and look at our second one, we see this one's slightly larger. A couple of extra steps. We get our state and we get a postcode entered in. That's great. And then in our third one, so on and so forth. So you come in, you can look at all of these sorts of things, which is absolutely fine. Um, what we're actually going to do is we're going to, for all of these paths, um, we're going to click on run. And we're going to actually just export these to our test case management system. Now, in this case, um, I'm just going to export them out to Excel. So that will just kick off job. That job will then allow us to download and export these particular tests. And it'll do all of them. The ones that you highlight, et cetera, et cetera, will come through. And then we've got our six tests that we are good to go through and follow manually. The other piece is that within uh, these particular, this particular um, model, I've also set up some um, some test data. So we've got some address details, we've got some different countries, we've got some different postcodes and so on and so forth. So what that means is under our paths, if we come up and we click run again, what we can do is we can come in, we can preview our test data. So if I click on preview, because we're using synthetic data generation here, um, what this will do is uh, it's given me a series of fictitious data to come in and use first name, postcode, address, etc., etc. Um, if I close that, if I run that again, we'll see that this data changes every time. Okay, so it gives me fresh data to come in and test with and use. Uh, we could look that up from an existing data source or a database, but for the moment, that's how we're able to export our data and come in um, and export our tests as well. 